Hello, sport fans. Tom Harmon back with you once again for Sports Vision's All-American Game of the Week. And for our Game of the Week this week, we go to the Big Ten for the crucial game between Ohio State and Michigan. The victory, as you know, went to Ohio State. So the Buckeyes are, for the second straight year, undisputed champions of that rugged Big Ten. Now, in just a moment, we'll take a look at the action and see how they accomplished that victory. It's the Rose Bowl decider, our All-American Game of the Week from Ann Arbor, Michigan, where the Ohio State Buckeyes loosen up for their test of the season with Michigan's Wolverines. For Ohio State, there is no Rose Bowl involved today. They went to Pasadena and won a year ago, so are not eligible this year. But a victory this afternoon can give Coach Woody Hayes boys their second consecutive Big Ten championship. And winning two straight Big Ten titles is something like bowling a 300 game. Michigan, meanwhile, can wrap up a Rose Bowl invitation with a triumph today. The Wolverines are a one touchdown favorite to do just this. Tradition is another factor in Michigan's favor. For Ohio State hasn't been able to beat the Wolverines in Ann Arbor since 1937. However, Hopalong Cassidy and company will also have a great football tradition of their own to uphold. And here come the Wolverines onto the field, followed by head coach Benny Usterbaum. There's Ben, a former Michigan All-American, one of their all-time greats. And this is Michigan's giant All-American end of this year, Ron Kramer. And now number 40, Hopalong Cassidy and Woody Hayes in the baseball cap lead the Buckeyes out. Here's Ohio State's great tackle, Frank Mashinsky. Their huge guard, Jim Parker, one of the best of the Big Ten linemen. And the incomparable clutch player, Mr. Hopalong Howard Cassidy. Co-captains, Ken Vargo and Frank Mashinsky of Ohio State, meet the Michigan captain, Edgar Meads, for the flip of the coin. Meade calls heads, and heads it is. The Wolverines win the toss and elect to receive. Michigan gets its final instructions from Benny Usterbahn, and we're set for the kickoff of our All-American Game of the Week. Don Southern kicking off for Ohio State. The ball goes in and out of the end zone. So it'll be Michigan's ball, first down, 10 yards to go on their own 20-yard line. The Wolverines out of the huddle, unbalanced line to the right side. T formation. The ball comes back, is handed off to Branoff. Branoff cuts inside, left in. Laterals back, Terry Barr. Barr is tackled by Cassidy. Gain of nine yards, second and one now on the Michigan 29-yard line. Bars the ball carrier, tries to turn the right end, is being forced to the sideline. Trying to evade those tacklers, can't get away, and is thrown for a seven-yard loss by Don Southern. So it's Michigan's ball now, third and eight, on the Wolverines, 22-yard line. Single wing formation to the right. Ball comes back to the fullback. And it's an end around with Ron Kamen, the ball carrier. Cuts back inside, pile drives his way for 10 yards to a first down. Michigan has picked up the first first down of the day. A little wet back there on the field of play. First and ten now on the Michigan 32. Flanker out to the right side. Ball is handed off to Terry Barr. Cuts in over right tackle. Pile drives his way forward for two yards. So it'll be second down. Eight yards to go on the Wolverines 34. Single wing formation to the right. Ohio State using a six-man defensive line. Full spinner this time by Baldici. Over left guard for four yards. So it's third down, four yards to go on the Michigan 38-yard line. Wolverines trying to keep this drive going. Ball is handed off to Tony Branoff this time. Cut down to our field camera. Branoff over left tackle for two yards. Leo Brown making the stop. Fourth and two, the Wolverines in punt formation. Quarterback Jimmy Maddox kicking. Ball bounces. Cassidy decides to let it roll. Kramer watching over it, and it goes out of bounds on the Ohio State 27-yard line. So the Buckeyes have their first shot at the offensive side of the picture. The handoff this time goes to Don Vixick, the right tackle, and Vixick powers through for five before Kramer stops him. Second down, five yards to go as the Bucks utilizing their T formation here. Cassidy, the ball carrier this time, breaking in over left tackle, is hit after gaining two yards by Tommy Mann. 
So it's Ohio State's ball, third down. Three yards to go, and the ball carrier is Vixie into the right guard spot for two of those yards. Not enough for the first down. Yard to go, so the Bucks go into punt formation. Frank Elwood kicking. Elwood gets off a high kick. Terry Barr waiting for it, signals for a fair catch, and takes the ball on the Michigan 24-yard line. Play later, we pick up the action. It's Michigan's ball, second and six, on the Michigan 28-yard line. The ball comes back to Branoff this time, following his interference, cuts back inside, drops that shoulder for two yards. Elwood making the stop. Third and four now for the Wolverines on their own 30-yard line. Direct pass back to Lou Baldacci. And Baldacci drives over right guard for six yards and a first down. Vargo making the tackle. Close to Wolverine's ball. First down, 10 yards to go on their own 36-yard line. Baldacci again this time, following his interference. Pile driving his way at right tackle for four more yards. And that's the end of the first quarter of a scoreless ball game at Ann Arbor, Michigan. The Big Ten crucial of the year. Following an exchange on the ball, we pick up the play. It's Michigan's ball. First down, 10 yards to go on the Michigan 22. Ball handed off to Branoff on the inside handoff this time. Finds a hole over the left guard spot. Gets through for 11 yards and a first down. Now it's first down, 10 yards to go. The Wolverines ball on their own 33. Direct pass this time. Baldici takes it on the buck lateral. Over right guard, tripped up after gaining three yards. So it's second and seven now on the Michigan 36-yard line. Unbalanced line. And it's the keep this time by quarterback Jimmy Maddock at left tackle for a gain of three. Jimmy Parker making the tackle. Third down, four yards to go on the Michigan 39. Ohio State up in there in an eight-man defensive line. Brown off the ball carrier, fumbles, drives in and recovers his own fumble for a gain of a yard. Fourth and three, Wolverines go into punt formation from their own 40-yard line. Maddock back kicking. Maddock gets away his punt. Cassidy, the safety man, waiting for it. Takes the ball on the 16-yard line, back to the 20. And is dropped on the 24-yard line. Make it the 25. Ohio State now in T formation. Ball carrier is Cassidy again, and he finds an opening as he powers his way up to the center of the line for a first down. So the Buckeyes move the ball. First and 10 now on the Ohio State 33. Don Vixick, the power driving fullback, has it this time, and another big hole in the center as he goes for 11. Jimmy Bates finally stopping him, but not until the Bucks had picked up that first down. So it's Ohio State's ball now, first and 10. Ball at midfield. On the handoff this time, it's Cassidy. Cassidy driving over left guard. In there for five yards. Tremendous tradition in this ball game between both of these teams. Michigan and Ohio State regard this one as their big game. T formation. Michigan in a seven-man defensive line, and it's Elwood on the quarterback sneak. Over the right guard spot. Gain of nine yards. Jimmy Orwig finally pulling him down. The Buckeyes on the move. The Wolverines trying to stop him, but Cassidy finds a hole at right guard on the cross buck for five more, and it's another Buckeye first down. Woody Hayes watches the goings on here with a great deal of pleasure as the Bucks are driving. Ohio State's ball now on the Michigan 36. And into the center of the line goes Vixic again for eight yards. The Buckeyes are really moving. Beautiful line play there by the Ohio line. D formation. Michigan now switches back to a 4-4 defensive lineup. And the keep this time by Elwood as he drives over right tackle for a gain of four yards. And again, Jim Bates makes the stop. So it's Ohio State's ball now, second and six on the Michigan 16. The Bucks knocking on the door. Hand off this time to Cassidy. Cassidy finds an opening at right tackle for six yards and a first down. Ohio State ball. First and goal to go on the Michigan 10-yard line. 
Ball carry is Vixic driving at left guard, and he moves through for three yards. So it's second down goal to go on the Michigan seven. T formation. Don Southern takes the ball. And coming up very fast is Terry Barr to plug up the hole for no gain. So it's third and seven now on the Michigan seven. Elwood rolling back to the right side, going to pass. He's being chased. Goes way back to 21, fires. Pass is out of bounds. Intended for Southern, incomplete. So the Buckeyes are going to go for the field goal. Right end, Fred Chris kicking from his own 24-yard line. Elwood holding. The kick is up. And it is good. And Ohio State goes out in front by a score of three to nothing as the first half ends. The Buckeyes out there, three to nothing. It's halftime in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where more than 98,000 fans are startled to read on the scoreboard that Ohio State holds a three to nothing lead over the favored Wolverine. While the fancy stepping Wolverine marching band draws oohs and ahs by the thousands, strategists in the press box are conceding that this has been a good old fashioned rock'em sock'em defensive battle. Fred Chris's 24 yard field goal is the margin of difference. And the Buckeye defense has also been magnificent. Now the teams are about ready to return to the field and we're just about all set for our second half of the All-American Game of the Week. Michigan kicking off, Tony Branoff kicking off for the Wolverines. Hop along Cassidy, takes the ball on the end zone, back to the five, breaks to the outside at the 10. He's being chased at the 15 and avoids the tackler, look at him come down that sideline and is forced out of bounds on the Ohio State 36 without a blocker in front of him. First down, 10 yards to go. Buckeye's ball in the handoff is to Vixic at right guard for a gain of a yard. Tom Mance stopping it up that time. Another play picked up two, so it's now the Buckeye's ball, third and seven, as Southern hits left guard, finds an opening, and shoots through for eight yards and a first down. Terry Barr making the tackle. Ohio State's ball, first and 10 on their own 47. And it's Cassie this time on the shot at right guard. Good for five yards. Bates and Barr in on the stop. Another line play, and we now pick up the play as Woody Hayes watches the festivities. Ohio State's ball, first and ten on the Michigan 42. Cassidy at right guard for three more yards. And the Buckeyes are pushing that Wolverine line around. Second and seven now on the Michigan 39. This time it's Cassidy around right in. Hoppy. Tight rope walking down the sidelines, avoiding tacklers. And look at that little guy move him along. 26-yard gain. It'll be the Buckeyes ball. First down, 10 yards to go on the Michigan 12. Don Southern in there at right guard for six yards as he powers his way and pulls the tacklers along. Another line play picked up a yard, so it's now third and three. And the handoff this time goes into the fullback at Vixic at right guard. A gain of a yard before he's pushed back. Fourth down, two yards to go. And the jump pass is lost and it's a fumble picked up by Michigan's Tom Mance and Mance of course goes down the sideline the ball will be brought back Elwood attempting a jump pass fumbles Tom Mance recovered so the Wolverines have stopped the Ohio State driving threat first down 10 yards to go on the Michigan 8 ball handed off to Terry Barr here this time Barr trying to turn the corner blocker out in front of him using that blocker beautifully as he cuts back up the sideline 17 yards and a Michigan first down. Val Lecce leading the interference that time. Benny Eusterbahn, a little happier about that offensive show of power. Line play picked up two yards. It's the Wolverines ball, second and eight on their own 27. Tony Branoff this time. Fires the left end spot, finds it plugged up, powers his way through for a yard before Thomas and Mashinsky drive him to the ground. Third down, seven yards to go on the Michigan 28. Terry Barr this time taking the handoff. Swinging around right in, cutting back inside for a gain of six yards. Southern finally making the stop. So it's fourth down, one yard to go on the Michigan 34-yard line. And the Wolverines elect to gamble, single wing formation to the right. Ball comes back to Valdeci. And he is hit at the line of scrimmage and driven back for no gain. And Ohio State takes over as Michigan gambles and loses. Buckeyes first down, 10 yards to go on the Michigan 34-yard line. Key formation this time. 
Ball is handed off to Southern on the cross block. Finds a beautiful hole at left guard. Fights his way through. Fumbles, and the fumble is recovered by Michigan's Jimmy Ortwig. And the Wolverines take advantage of the break. So it's first down, 10 yards to go. Michigan's ball on their own, 26. Baldacci on the direct pass. Buck lateral over the left guard spot. Gain of a yard. Second down, nine yards to go now for the Wolverines on their own 27-yard line. Ball goes back to the fullback. Full spin this time. Handed off to Branoff on the reverse. Branoff trying to find some daylight. Can't. Beautiful defensive play by Ohio State's Kenny Vargo. So it's now third and ten on the Michigan 26. And the pitch back this time to Ryan Kramer on the end around. Kramer really moving, powering his way down for a gain of eight yards. Southern finally making the stop. Fourth down, two yards to go. The Wolverines in punt formation. Jim Van Pelt, quarterback kicking. Downfield, Cassidy waits for the ball, takes it on the 28. Comes right back up the center. Look at him go. And gets all the way back to the Ohio State 48-yard line before Tony Branagh finally drops him. First and 10 now for the Buckeyes. And the handoff is Cassidy. And the hop-along one finds a hole. Wiggles through it at right guard for eight yards. Morrow making the stop. Second and two now for the Buckeyes. And it's Victic this time, keeping up the power plays at right guard for eight more yards and a first down. Ohio State cheerleaders telling the Bucks to keep moving. Following another first down, we pick up the play. It's first and 10 on the Michigan 25. The Buckeyes driving. Vixic on the straight handoff at right guard on a shot for six yards. Van Pelt making the tackle, and that's the end of the third quarter. And the score is Ohio State three, Michigan nothing as the team change sides of the field. All right, we pick up the play in the fourth quarter now. It's Ohio State's ball, first and 10 on the Michigan 11. And it's Vixic over right tackle. Look at him power his way for six yards. Second down, four yards to go now on the Michigan five-yard line. Once again, the Buckeyes are knocking on the Wolverine door. Handoff this time goes to Cassidy. Cassidy tries right tackle, hit by Kramer and Baldacci. Moving ever forward. Third down, a yard to go, and up over the top goes Hopalong Cassidy on the right guard for the touchdown. He fumbled the official signal. The touchdown scored before the fumble. And Ohio State is out in front by a score of nine to nothing. Don Southern holding. Frank Elwood would attempt the conversion. He kicked. And the kick is no good. So the score is Ohio State nine, Michigan nothing. Don Southern kicking off for the Buckeyes. Kick comes downfield. The ball bounces. Branoff scoops it up on the Michigan seven. Tony running right over his interference up to the Michigan 29-yard line. So it's first down, 10 yards to go for the Wolverines. Flanker out to the right side, unbalanced line. And Maddock this time fading the pass. Looks for Kramer, fires. And Kramer lateral to Baldacci. And there's actual real power on that play, but he got back just to where the lateral was made, to the 34-yard line. So it's Michigan's ball, second and five now on the Wolverines, 34. This time it's Jimmy Maddock faking a handoff, rolling out to the right side. Passes downfield. The pass is complete to Ron Kramer. Kramer is hit and fumbled. Recovered by Mance, however. So the Wolverines have another first down. Michigan's two great ends teaming up on that play. First and ten now for Michigan at midfield. Flanker out to the right side. Maddock this time rolling off to the left on a beautiful fake. Passes long down the field. And the pass is incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. And again, it's Maddock back to pass. Has blocking, has time. Fires one over the center of the line, but the pass is picked off by Zixic on the 42. And he is hit and dropped. An Ohio State interception. The Buckeyes striking back. And Wolverines took to the air. So it's first down, 10 yards to go on the Michigan 49 as Cassidy cuts inside the right end position for six yards. Maddock making the tackle. Two plays later, we pick up the action. It's first and 10 for Ohio State, and Cassidy this time powers his way into the center of the line again for five more big yards. 
Another line play picked up four, so it's now the Buckeyes ball, third and one on the Michigan 28. And Howard Cassidy tries right tackle for five yards and a first down. Not big, but that hopalong can really move. First and ten this time, and Vixic into the center of the line is slowed up after a gain of a yard. Another line play made five more, so it's now third and four on the Michigan 17. As Cassidy takes the ball, swings around right in. Orwig coming up to make the stop after a gain of three. Fourth down, one yard to go. The Buckeyes need this one. Big play, and the handoff is to Southern. Southern is piled up at the line of scrimmage. No gain, and the Wolverines fight back and take over. Tremendous spirit in this ball game between these two teams. Always has been. First down, 10 yards to go as Michigan takes the ball on their own 14-yard line. Maddox rolling out to the right side, going to pass. Can't get it away. Is pursued. Hit and drop on the five-yard line. An eight-yard loss. So it's second down, 18 yards to go. Flanker out to the right side, and Maddox works the quarterback sneak this time. Gets back up to the 10-yard line. As the Wolverines go into punt formation. Maddox kicking. A high kick coming down the field. Cassie lets the ball bounce. And the ball is down by Ed Meads on the Michigan 43-yard line. So the Buckeyes take over again, first and 10. Cassie, the ball carrier, circling the right end behind his interference. Cut back inside, jumps over a blocker. Gets up for 13 yards. But there's a penalty, a clipping penalty called. And the great run is nullified. Ohio State's ball, first down, 18 yards to go on the Buckeyes, 49. They can't off to the right half, back to Cassie this time. Cassie turning the right end for five yards. Baldacci and Hickey making the tackle. It'll be second down, 13 yards to go now on the Buckeyes, 46. Southern takes the inside handoff into the center of the line for five yards before Kramer and Meade put the cramps on him. Third and eight now on the Michigan, 41. And again, the fake is to the fullback and back to Southern as he spins over the left guard spot for four more yards. Fourth down, four to go. Elwood back in punt formation. Elwood kicks. Terry Barr waits for it. Takes it on the six-yard line. Tries to reverse his field. Picks up a blocker. However, he is snowed down as he gets back to the Michigan seven-yard line. First and ten now. Jimmy Maddox taking a handoff, fading back to pass. Shoots one out to the right side. Terry Barr is complete behind the goal line. Aurelius Thomas making the tackle for a safety. And the Buckeyes have picked up two more points. And the Michigan crowd is stunned as Ohio State leads 11 to nothing. Ron Kramer kicks. The kick travels only one yard. And it's Ohio State's ball. The Buckeyes take over. First down, 10 yards to go on the Michigan 21. Cassie at left guard. Hoppy going through for six yards. Gobel making the tackle. So it's second down, four yards to go on the Michigan 15. T formation. Elwood fakes the handoff. Runs the bootleg leg out to the left side. Trying to get a pass off. Can't spot a receiver. Decides to run to the ball. Cuts inside. Is hit and dropped after a gain of six yards. But there's a penalty on the play. And the fans are tearing the goalpost down already. The Buckeyes believe it's in the bag. Second down, 19 yards to go on the Michigan 30-yard line. Elwood on the sneak this time into the center for 10 yards. Ohio State is not going to be denied this afternoon. Following an exchange of penalties and the two lines to pick up the play, it's first and goal to go on the Michigan one. And it's Vixic over the center of the line for the touchdown. And Ohio State is pouring it on. Sutherland's point after touchdown with Frank Elwood holding is no good, and the score is Ohio State 17, Michigan nothing. So with a 17 to nothing upset of Michigan, Ohio State captures its second consecutive Western Conference title with an unbeaten Big Ten record. The loss drops the Wolverines out of the Rose Bowl picture and sends Michigan State to Pasadena to battle the Blue Bruins of UCLA on the 2nd of January. The Buckeyes had a lot of heroes today, but none like the incomparable All-American Hopalong Cassidy with nearly 150 yards to prove he's one of the great players of Big Ten history. After seeing that ball game, I don't think there's any question about the champion of the Big Ten. 
With Ohio State now the champion, it means that Michigan State is going to come forward to play against UCLA in the Rose Bowl on January 2nd. Michigan State winding up in second spot, but the Buckeyes having played in the Rose Bowl last year are ineligible to play in it again this year. So Michigan State will receive the nod as the Big Ten representative in the run for the Roses. Once again, we'd like to ask you folks in the television audience if you'd drop us a postcard or a letter and select your All-American team. I've received quite a few letters and cards, and I must say that you fans out there really know your football players. So why not join in the fun? Because here's the lovely gift we have for our Sports Vision All-American team. Through the courtesy of Landman for Men, this beautiful set of Matt Samsonite luggage, built strongest to last longest. So drop us a postcard or a letter. Next week, our cameras will be on hand at the big traditional game between the Southern California Trojans and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Should be a whale of a ball game, and we certainly hope you'll be with us then. Until then, Tom Harmon bidding you all a very pleasant good evening.